going? So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I keep organized during the school year using an app called Awesome Cow. Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. It's just a really awesome app that I find really helpful. And so basically, I'm going to be showing you how color coding using this app can be really helpful. And then I also talk to you about ways that you can apply the things that I'm going to talk to you about in this video to regular planners if you don't have access to an app like this. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right guys, so the app I like to use to stay organized is called Awesome Cal, and it is available on iPad, iPad mini, and iPhone. I'm not sure about Android devices. It may or may not be available. It is called Awesome Cal, and the icon is right here on this bottom corner on my bottom dock. Now, if you don't have any of those devices that I just mentioned, don't worry, because I'm going to explain as we go through this how you can apply these same principles into just a normal planner or calendar that you would have for school. So this is what my September is looking like so far, and I'm just gonna walk you through how I use it and the things that I already have on here. So really quick, I'm just gonna flip back a month so I can show you this. So in August, anything that has already happened will be sort of, let me get this on the screen, will be sort of um, faded out a little bit. So if you look, especially right here, you'll be able to see right here, this is faded out because that happened yesterday, so that already happened, whereas this one is still a little bit more bold. The text is still written in black because that is today, and these are future things that are going to happen. So what I love about this app is that it's all color coded, and I think color coding is so, so amazing. Um, it just really helps to give you a super visual way of keeping track of things. So um, for me, this purple color are videos that are going to go up on my channel, and then this blue color are things that have to do with my YouTube channel that aren't actual videos that are going to go live, and green is school related things. So I actually haven't even started school yet. I start school on the 22nd. So as you can see down here, I have classes start, I have second year orientation, things like that. My second year schedule comes out. So this just helps give me a super visual way of seeing things. And as you can see, some of the things are blocked out and some of them are just written in a color. The reason for that is if they are blocked out, sort of like this one is, that means that it is an all day event. So for me, I do my videos that way because it doesn't happen at a specific time necessarily. It's just something that happens on that day. Whereas something like this, second year uh, registration that's happening, that happens at a specific time. So it just shows up with second year registration at 6.30 a.m., which is not the right time. I have to change that. I'm not sure why it says that. Um, but that just gives you a general idea of why it's set up like that. Now I'm going to keep any sort of school event in this green color that you see right here. Oops. <laughs> that you see right here. Um, however, once I start getting assignments and I need to put them onto here, I'm going to do that in a completely different color. So if I had an assignment due on this day, for example, I would just hold down over top of that date, click event, and then I can just enter in all of the information. So up top here, I would enter a title. So I would say something like paper due. And then if I go right over here into the corner, I can pick the color. And so let's say that I would do it in orange because I don't have anything orange yet. And down here, you can write any sorts of notes that you want. So if I needed to write down anything to remind myself about that, it's all right there. Um, and then I can set up the specifics of it, dates, times, stuff like that. For something like this, I would probably keep it at an all day type of deal. Um, but if I wanted to, I could set it to the specific time of my class. So I would just uncheck this all day button and then I could set it to a specific time. So I could do 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. and then I would click save. And as you can see, right there in my calendar, it says paper due. Something else I love about this app is that it has tons of different views that you can use in it. So, for example, if I double click on a day, it'll bring me to that whole week. So this is week 39 of the month um, of September 2014, and along the top here it has the days and the dates going along, and then I can see absolutely everything that I have going on. Let me find a better example of a week, that way you can see. So as you can see on here, I have once again all of the days and dates going along the top here. Along the top here, it'll say the things that go all day. For example, my DIY book cover went up on that day, so that was an all day event. And over here, my DIY post-it video went up, once again, an all day event. And as you can see, it sticks to the colors that it's supposed to be. I also had a meeting at Teen Vogue on uh, that Wednesday, so as you can see, it's sort of like a little grid. I can follow down that it was on Wednesday and that it happened at 8 a.m. And then if I go down here, 
I have these pink ones and pink is personal for me so things that are happening in my personal life for example I was flying back to Los Angeles from Newark so I had um, that event set up so that it said back to LA and down here I had my confirmation number for my flight that way I had it all available right here from like ready to go just in case I needed it now these same principles can apply to a planner in a pretty simple and self-explanatory way for example, if you get a huge pack of highlighters, you can write in all day events and highlight them in whatever color, that way they get that block around it and you know that it is an all day thing. You can also get colored pens and you can write things in the way that these look, where it says paper due or second year, things like that. That way you get the contrast between things that have a specific time and things that are going to last all day. Color coding in general is just super helpful. It gives you a visual and it helps you to just be able to glance down and see. Like, I know if I'm looking, if I have a specific thing going on, I can pretty much ignore any of these purple ones because those aren't things that are happening at a specific time. Those are video planning. And so I can just sort of move past those and um, block them out when I'm looking for things that have a specific time when I'm looking for a specific time to do something. If you start color coding your planner, it's going to help you so much. I highly recommend this app, it's so wonderful. It really helps you get in there and just plan things. And what I love about using an app in general, even if you don't use this one, if you can find one that's available on whatever device you have and has color coding, it'll be awesome for you. Because I find that when I write things down in a planner, I don't like to write with pencil, I like to use pen. And then if I need to move something around, it makes it really difficult because um, it's written in pen so I sort of have to scribble it out things get messy whereas here if I want to change this paper due I can just go ahead and click the edit button and I can delete it or I can change the day when it's supposed to happen anything real simple and then it just completely changes it clears that and moves it to wherever I needed it to go and there are tons of different features that I didn't even go over in this video you can change the way that you view this all together that way it just applies to exactly what you would like you can make it so that it's sort of more like a planner where you flip through pages like this um, and there are tons of other views and things that you can do just to really personalize it and make it exactly the way that you want and as I said, if you cannot get an app like this or this app in particular, please invest in a planner of some sort. A planner is the key to making your life organized when it comes to school. You're never going to forget anything. And that's it for today's back to school video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave some more requests for other back to school videos you would like to see down below or just fall theme videos you would like to see. We're finally getting to that fall time so I'm going to start doing lots of fall videos. I already have some Halloween ideas rolling around in my head so make sure to stay tuned for those. I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! By the way guys, I know I've said this in like my past million videos, but my Teen Vogue video is finally released. I'm so excited. It came out amazingly. It's called Beauty Crisis and Philip and Elaine, two of the people who work with Teen Vogue, show me how to cover acne prone skin so that it looks super natural and just like your skin and it is an amazing video. We also did a bonus video, so make sure that you follow the annotation on the screen right now and the links in the description to those videos so that you can see them. Comment and show them some love. I love you guys so much.